Every Olympian has a story of strength and perseverance, but track star Elijah Godwin's really stands out. He says he was at practice doing backward sprints when he fell onto a javelin. It impaled him. He says in that moment, not only did he think his Olympic dreams were ending, he thought his life was too. I like it when he finally comes home. <laughs> life may have its routines, it but it's not predictable. I love it when I get to spend time with him. Elijah Godwin and his mom look at days differently. More thankful for the now because of all it's taken to get here. Playing football at five years old. When he was little, Elijah wanted to play football like his big brother. They said, get a ball to Elijah, let him run. So that's what they did because they couldn't catch him. It developed this sense of confidence. For off-season training, he started running track. He happened on track. He was good at it. So good, he'd earn a scholarship to the one school he'd always wanted to go to. It would also be the place he would learn how fragile life is. In a blink of an eye, nothing's fine no more. Everything's just, it's just chaos. A normal day of practice until it wasn't. Where the javelin was. Elijah fell onto a javelin. It went through his body. No exaggeration, like, it's in my bed. Losing oxygen, his heart rate dropped. It was scary. Elijah thought it was the end punching my lungs so now that I was like kind of like spitting up a lot of blood it, it got real like I was just like oh it's bad I started praying about it these are pictures from the operating room the javelin went under his rib cage piercing his left lung it's seven doctors here it's because they did not know what would happen when they pulled it out it was so close to his heart his story was out there but very few knew just how serious it really was he survived surgery, but this strong elite athlete now could not stand and struggled to breathe. I wanted to like immediately start recovering. He used it to push himself. It was never an excuse, it was only like motivation. Two years later, against every odd and prediction, treasure life every day after that, the Olympic trials. I wasn't taking no for an answer. And if I was going to lose, it was going to be at my very best. Impaled by a javelin. I said, oh my God, is he, gonna, <laughs> is he actually going to go to the Olympics? Moments they will not take for granted. I can only call it a miracle. <laughs>